Let's talk about commercial real estate digital marketing, what it is, the services that are involved, the strategy, et cetera, et cetera, things along those lines. So first of all, what is real estate marketing? Real estate marketing is simply put, the act of marketing a real estate agent, a real estate company, whether that be commercial or residential. So in this particular case, we're talking about the digital aspect of real estate marketing. So what goes into digitally marketing a real estate company? Well, these could basically be things such as search engine optimization, paid ads, social media, perhaps getting a new website, the list essentially goes on. The goal of doing all of those mentioned things is to gain new business to your real estate company. Now, regardless of the medium that it takes place, the end goal is always the same. The strategy is determined by the methodology that we're using to gain the desired results. So for example, if we do real estate SEO, this is going to primarily focus on influencing the search engine for keywords, for things that are important to your real estate company. So for example, think Orlando real estate brokerage or Orlando real estate brokerage near me. Something along those lines is really kind of what you're looking for. Now, if you're in a commercial aspect of stuff, right, you'll use a modifier. So you'll use commercial real estate brokerage in Orlando or in whatever X city that you're in. These sorts of things are very, very good when it comes to getting traffic through SEO for your real estate company. If we utilize a strategy like paid advertising, for example, it applies to around the same element of stuff. So in other words, basically think keywords still SEO and paid ads all kind of utilize keywords especially if you're going off of the Google Ads platform this strategy will utilize same same idea same concept the keywords that you're looking to target so for example we'll stick with Orlando in this case Orlando commercial real estate brokerage that is a keyword that we will be able to pay for as we pay for that keyword we'll be able to get it higher up on the search engine thus translating to new leads new business new listing appointments sales, whatever the case may be, right? The end result of whatever it is that you're looking to achieve. So if we transition then to something like a social media program, what does something like that actually look like? So a social media program in this particular case could be promotion of the actual listing itself. So um, you get a listing and now you're trying to sell it. You're trying to identify the right buyers, the right people who are going to look at this thing. We'll take, for example, a industrial property that you have. You need to find somebody who's willing to purchase an industrial property. So what's some of the ways that you can do that through social media? Well, a couple of the ways that you can do that could be through showing a drone video of the property and doing perhaps a voiceover of the different aspects of it, what it's zoned for, you know, the various different elements that make that property unique, perhaps where the location is, whatever the case may be. Another strategy that you can utilize for social media in this regard is going over perhaps some of the other listings that you have. It doesn't just have to be specific to industrial. It could be other ones. You could promote basically all of your listings kind of across the board, just various different ones and things. So as it relates to social media for real estate, should I say, another thing that you could do is perhaps promote the brokerage itself, or you can promote the people within the brokerage. So real estate is a regional business, and it's also a business that takes connections, and you have to be kind of in the know with certain people in certain instances, right? It does help. Definitely. So if you have a well-known person in the real estate industry who works at your firm, promote them or perhaps promote yourself to try to position uh, yourself to become that brand authority within your company. Of course, you also can produce videos around the actual company itself. So in other words, what something like that would look like is you talk about perhaps the years of experience, the types of properties that you list overall, how quickly you guys get deals done perhaps on average, what's your track record. You could list out various different transactions that you've done, lots of different things, right? You know, anything that basically gets the people through the door, utilizing the social media is another element of real estate marketing with social media. Another thing that we can talk about is perhaps web design. So web design as it relates to real estate is highly important. And the reason being is because web design is something that basically every company needs. Regardless if you're a real estate company or not, every company needs a website. So think of the website like being your hardest working employee. Your hardest working employee basically will generate you leads 24 seven throughout the day, no matter what time it is, no matter what day, 
it could be Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it doesn't matter. This thing is always on. And if you have good SEO for your website, it's doing that in even greater quantities than something that was basically just put up there, has a little bit of content in the area, whatever the case may be. Think about your website as basically being an area that people can go to, see your year's worth of experience, what you do about the company, and basically become a place and a destination that somebody can learn about you and trust your brand through viewing the content that's actually on your site. You want the content that's actually there to tell people a story, not necessarily just sell them up and down about real estate and about how you have this property over here and that property over there and you have all these various different listings. That's wonderful, but people also want to do business with real people. So having a website is a great, great way to showcase that you're a real company with real people in it that does real things. So if we tie, you know, some of these things basically together, let's talk about an overall strategy for what you would do if you're trying to digitally market a real estate company. First things first, you're gonna wanna get a website. Once you get your website and you fill out basically all of your content that's on there, you are now going to have a destination to be able to send people. With that, um, the next thing that you would start doing is promoting it. There's three different avenues that we would take to promote your website. In this particular case, the first one that we're going to start with is social media. Now, social media is gonna be good to build the brand presence overall of your real estate firm. Again, you wanna show basically who you are, what you do, the types of listings that you have, the types of people that are employed at your company, anything that really can distinguish you apart from the competition is really something that you're gonna to wanna to look to promote. And you can use all different types of content on social media. You can do video, you can do the static images like regular posts, reels, you can do commenting, hashtags, basically the, anything that really gets the word out there is the most important aspect of doing that. And you wanna make sure that you do it as frequently as possible. When you do it frequently, you're telling the algorithm that you have good information, good content, and as you do that, you'll grow over time. Following that up, you're gonna to wanna to use, utilize basically now a combination of both paid advertising and then also SEO. And the reason why you're going to do both of these things kind of hand in hand is because the first one is going to get you the quick return from what you're looking for, which is leads through the door. Because if you don't have leads through the door as a real estate company, you're basically dead in the water. You're going to start with a paid advertising program utilizing Google Ads, because Google Ads is a keyword-based advertising platform, which means you can target the keywords specifically for what you're looking to promote. For example, if you have a whole bunch of listings that you're trying to get leased, then your keywords would be office space for lease in X city or office space for lease. Of course, you know, interchange those for your desired asset class and your property type and you're basically good to go. Then the final piece that you're gonna to wanna to focus on is search engine optimization. Now this is by far the hardest and most effective strategy that there is as it relates to digitally marketing a real estate company. And there's a couple of reasons why. The reason why search engine optimization is such a good strategy is because once you hone it in, you will gain a consistent, steady stream of people who are looking for the services that you have to offer. SEO typically takes around three to six months to start working. It starts working after three to six months. Sometimes it can take longer than that. And the reason being for this is because you are influencing the keyword factors and the algorithm factors of a search engine and you're basically trying to say my website does this and it does it really well well that takes a long time to gain trust as you gain that trust and you gain that authority within the search engine by doing seo you'll start showing up for key terms like commercial real estate industrial listings um, you'll show up for a commercial real estate brokerage in x location or locations that you have listings in whatever the case may be you'll show up for those sorts of things you probably show up for individual properties that you've also done in the past, people, your overall company, things along those lines, basically. As you combine all of these different strategies together, what do you have? You have a full 360 plan and a program that you can utilize to grow your real estate company. 
So you have the social media aspect of stuff, which will take care of the overall brand presence and brand awareness on the social media platform. Then you have the advertising aspect of stuff, which will gain you the quick leads and the quick wins through the door. And then you finally have your long-term strategic approach, which is SEO. Now, of course, you need any help with these sorts of things. Our team at Centoro would love to help you. We can be reached by dialing 407-923-0109. Again, that's 407-923-0109. Or you can also go to info at centoro.com or visit our website at centoro.com, spelled C-I-N-D-T-O-R-O. Don't forget to like the channel and subscribe. See you on the next video.